Hello, everybody. It's been a while. Uh, life has had given us um, some ups and downs, but uh, I just wanted to come on and update uh, what I'm doing this year and uh, show you a few of my finishes. That uh, this year I've decided to do um, is try to clear out some of my whips. And uh, I'm, I'm still doing some starts, but just not as many as I've done before. So, um, my daughter for Christmas gave me this calendar book. It's one of those doodle ones that you can color in. And uh, this is where I keep track of my projects that I'm working on. And uh, I've been using that, um, um, what's it called? It makes decisions for you. Um, it's like an app and you push the button. And So what I've been doing is I put my whips in there and then every two weeks I pick a new one. And I'm really liking that. I'm getting so many finishes done and it's nice. And now I just need to get all these finishes FFO'd, but that'll come too. <laughs> so I thought I would show you the first one. So I started this on the first and the first whip that I finished was on the 8th. And that was um, on a stitch along with uh, Kim in Canada and um, Taryn from TV Designs. And uh, it was Every Bird Welcome. So this is my finish. I did them all in the DMC colors. And I really like how, how it turned out. And uh, I'm probably going to Priscilla-fy this and uh, we'll get it framed up or not, not framed, but just um, with maybe some flowers or a little birdhouse or something. I, ha I just haven't, I've been looking, but I haven't found anything that I really, really want yet of how I want to finish it. So that'll be coming soon. So then the next day I spun the wheel again and it picked every stitch every day by hands-on designs and on the 16th I finished that one and this is finished on um, oh, it was a hand or a dyed fabric I got from sorry one sec I do have it Florin by under the sea fabrics it was a gift that I got um, and this is going to be finished as a drum. Um, I really, really like those. Everybody seems to be doing them. Um, so, so I really, really like how this one turned out. And I try to stitch every day. Not on the weekends because we're usually up at our shop. But so then, um, I spun again and I started on my daughter's um, tree skirt um, but I didn't get it finished when it was time to spin again so I put that away and I worked on or I started a new whip and it was um, Lizzie Kate's Snow Love and I finished it on the 4th of February and this is the on the linen that I absolutely detest and can't wait to pass it on to somebody else because there's quite a bit left but, uh, but anyways um, let's see right there probably where you can see it all at least so cold hands warm hearts snow love and I figured out how I'm going to finish this no no I don't need to come over here. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's coming over. As I got this at Michael's, and I'm going to mount it on some sticky board and put it in here and then put pom-pom trim around it. I think it'll look cute. Because it's only going to be up for holiday, so I, I'm, I'm thinking it'll be okay. So, that's that finish. And then... Uh, 
then I decided I had time, so I was going to do a new start. wasn't going to spin another one right away. I was going to have a new start. So had some fabric from um, Rolanda's hand dyed off Etsy, and uh, I'm doing um, <laughs> oh, what are they called? Little House Needleworks Spring ABCs. It's a real long one, so but narrow. So I'll get close to show you. So there's A and bunnies, flowers, gardens, and then nesting. I love that little bird. And then springtime and windy. And then there's the quilt. And then, uh, so I got that one finished on um, the 11th. It actually really quickly works up. I love that. And then I, I, I pulled out my, um, my daughter's penguins again that I want to make into a tree skirt for her. And I got it done. So this is on 11 count. And I'm going to add more snowflakes around. I don't know if you can see them, but there is snowflakes right here and here and over here. So I'm going to add some out here, but once I get it into the shape that I want for the tree skirt. so And then I want to make my oldest daughter a tree skirt too, and she collects some um, turtles. And I found a pattern for a turtles in the shape of a Christmas tree, so it's going to be really cute. So then, on the 27th, I brought out a new prod or a new whip, and uh, started working on that. And that was the blackwork hummingbird out of the um, the UK magazine, and I um, I finished it on the 13th of March, and I finished it a little smaller than what was in the book because um, I got this frame that I want to put it in and it's a square sorry for the glare and it's a square it's a 10 by 10 so I finished my black work hummingbird so that it'll fit in there so let's see there we go really like how this turned out really quite pleased but, um, yeah, don't want to do black work again. Didn't like it. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. <laughs> so then that was also a day that I had to pick a new project. So I um, spun my wheel and it came up as Promise Me by Lizzie Kate. And, uh... oh no. That's there. Oh, sorry. Another finish. In between that was a new start again, and it was the summer ABC, and I finished it like Priscilla did. I took the word um, apples out and put bees, and I really like it better. And then there's fireflies, ice cream, lemonade, picnic, watermelon, and then the bees again. And I really, really like how that turned out. So and those are they're quite quick to work up. So then I finished Promise Me on the 18th of March. And that's just done in the DMC colors. And uh, I'm really happy to get that one done and, and uh, I'll have to look for a frame for that one. So then, um, because I had time after finishing that before I had to spin again, I wanted to do another little something for my spring display. So I pulled out my patterns. Um, I have uh, quite a few, um, oh, what are they called? Um, she 
the oh geez, the name escapes me. So anyways, bright, something bright. Anyways, I just love this little bunny. I think it turned out really well. And I just squared off the corners and I did the whole together like you would do a biscornu and then just added the beads all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. Excuse me for a sec. <clears throat> and then my next finish I started on the 27th and it only took a couple days to finish it and that was Bring On Spring by V, v and Company. Bring On Spring, I'm freezing my snowballs. <laughs> Not sure yet how I'm going to finish that, but uh, maybe I'm like a little... Uh, um, cube sta uh, cube finish or something maybe I don't know yet. Okay, then we are into March. Um, sorry, April. And the first finish I finished in April. I'm gonna show you like a Chelsea here because <laughs> I've got two projects on the same material. But it's Spring by um, Jardin Privé. And it's a, I don't know, it's a snow globe. You can't really see the white going around the outside edge, but I did kind of a glittery stuff to make it look like a snow globe. But I just love how it turned out. I'm going to finish it like a circle, and then I have a, uh, a stand, um, chalkboard stand that I'm going to put it on. And I'll show you the rest of that one in a bit, because that's my whip. Um... And then the next day I finished um, Summer. And this is the same material as well as the, um, the spring one. It's the same material that was left from doing the spring bell pull. And it's the same with this. This is what's left from the summer. Um, a little house needleworks. So this is uh, Jar Jardin Privé. Um, summer and then I'm hoping to do um, fall and and uh, on the fall, same fall material but I started the fall bell pull and I screwed up and uh, didn't measure first and I didn't have enough material so I ended up having to trash it so I'm waiting to find um, the right material again and I'm working on the winter one as well so I'll show you my two whips that I have going so this is the whip that I pulled from using my Decision app. And this is Spring by Lizzie Kate. So I'm just doing the basket right here. Um, pattern is right here. I don't want to lose my threads because they're all in there, but that's what it'll look like. So, and I'm just picking my own colors for this one. So that's, that's spring, and I'll make that into a, a little um, pillow for, uh, by my spring display. And then the other, the last whip that I'm working on is um, the winter ABCs. And I've got it done down to Q. So there's A, B, chill, no, A, B, cold, sorry, <laughs> and then E, F for frost, G, H, and then, uh, sorry, ice skates. It looks better in person. Sorry, um, maybe if I could see if I can find something to put behind it, and I just lost my floss. There, it's a little bit better bad lighting in here today it's kind of a it was sunny out earlier and then it clouded right over and now we're getting a wind and I was gonna go out and do some more cleanup in the garden I guess I might just snuggle down and uh, do some stitching instead but um, 
these are just the DMC colors that um, come on the chart and I'm really liking how it's uh, how it's coming together so um, I also would like to send out a uh, thank you to Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates um, won a little uh, birthday giveaway that she did and I got Wilhelmina so I can't wait to to get that one stitched up it's going to be really cute and uh, and thank you Jan for that and uh, um, I got a few pro uh, pattern books from uh, um, Value Village um, they're like a dollar ninety nine there and uh, I got a couple that are really good so uh, You'll see them soon coming up on uh, in some projects, and I picked up some uh, some Weeks Dye Works. They had a few at. Uh, I was coming home from uh, visiting my cousin, and uh, I stopped at this little store to get some uh, a bottle of water, and uh, I was looking around. They had yarn, so I bought some yarn. I'll show you that in another day too. But I got these Weeks and they were $1.50, which I thought was, if that's what Weeks is, that's pretty cheap. So this one is Snowflake and Graphite, and Molasses, and this one's River Rock. It's kind of a mauvey color. It's really quite pretty. And then Deep Sea and sky it's pretty blue and tobacco road it's kind of a different variegation on that one and then the last is buttercup which is kind of a kind of a buttercup <laughs> color maybe a little lighter but uh but yeah so i don't use fancy floss too much but sometimes it's nice to add a color in here or there um I will be uh, picking a new whip. Let me just look at my calendar here. Um, oh, right. So I will finish off the spring. That was my whip that I from my wheel. Um, so I'll finish that off, and then I'll go back to working on my winter, my new start winter ABC. And if I finish both of those, then I might um, work on the autumn one, or fall one, that goes with um, the Lizzie Kate. Um, and if not, if I go right to the 24th, then that's when I pick a new, a new whip to do. And uh, I still have lots of them in my bin, so I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a Stitch Mania this year. Um, I really, really would like to get the whips down, and then, then we'll see. Um, I do knitting on on um, the weekends when we're up at the shop, because um, I just find it easier to take my knitting with me. I didn't bring the bag over here. It's over at the table. I'm working on a sweater for myself. Um, it's in almost the same blue as this. It's really quite nice, and, and uh, it's a really nice pattern. It's just ribbing down the side, just a normal sweater. It won't uh, button closed or anything like that. So, so uh, anyways, I think I will uh, say goodbye for now. And uh, you guys all take care. Big hugs from Patty. And, uh, you know, just enjoy your stitching time. I know I enjoy mine. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye for now.